Clare are back in a Munster semi-final after a 122 to 21 points win over Waterford here at Semple Stadium. Waterford very, very disappointing, although in the latter stages they did make a, a push and get plenty of scores on the board late on. I think they outscored uh, Clare by in the region of seven points to two late on to bring this very close and you know at one stage it looked like Clare could win this by any score they wanted Tony Kelly was on fire he scored 112 overall five of those came from play and one of the big questions beforehand was whether Liam Cahill would look at Caelan Lyons and say because he's such a driving force in the half back line can we afford to um, have him man marking Tony Kelly such a key man throughout the game they did do that for the first half and and certainly uh, at early stages of the second half but eventually he was moved um, further out the field Conor Gleeson was put back on Tony Kelly but I think the flow of the game was completely decided at that stage maybe Clare were just kind of shutting up shop towards the end making sure they didn't concede any goals Waterford made that push but you know it was very much at a stage when Clare were in the ascendancy now there was a little bit of a wobble but like for Watford it continues what has been a wretched run in Munster in the last number of years since losing since getting to the Munster final in 2016 they've just won win and obviously there was a couple of round robin seasons in there as well so that's very poor form for them they're, they're going to look like uh, they're going to be looking to have a serious run in the qualifiers because uh, on the evidence of today and after the confidence that they would have probably felt that they uh, rightly had after beating Tipperary in the league a couple of weeks ago, this was nothing short of a really dreadful performance. I mean, just look at the first uh, first half of the game. Clare came in at half time, one thirteen seven points ahead here at Temple Stadium, and you know the amount of wides they had. They'd only converted fourteen of twenty nine attempts, one thirteen, uh, including that penalty from Tony Kelly, which was rightly given. Aaron Shanahan was uh, there was a couple of pounds of flesh taken off uh, out of him on his way towards goal. Can hit the post went wide he knocked it over but you know at that stage you looked at a, a Clare team whose forwards were scoring Tony Kelly was obviously getting plenty of scores and giving Caelan Lyons a tough time but Ryan Taylor had scored in McCarthy had scored David Reedy had scored um, they were scoring freely enough from play but on the flip side for Waterford a team that you know, looked like they had serious form coming into this game and had a herd of the year kind of nominee in Stephen Bennett, Jack Fagan coming into another season. Maybe he'd be flying Jack Prendergast, who'd done so well just a few weeks ago against Galway and obviously carried that into the tip game. Shane Bennett, Desi Hutchinson, obviously brilliant last year. And, you know, he's into season two. What could he do this year? But in the first half, what, there was just three shots from play from the forwards which tells you a couple of stories. Number one, the forwards couldn't get away from their men and the Clare backs were doing very, very, very well. But also the ball being played into them was pretty substandard at best. And on the line, Brian Lowen did a fantastic job of setting his team up. But there was, there was uh, seven shots from Waterford uh, players from play in that first half. Only only two of them went over. Both of them went over from Austin Gleeson. He was playing wing back. Now, he briefly went out to midfield. But the only shots from play that they had go over the bar were from Austin Gleeson. He scored all two of the seven attempts that they had had, which is pretty dreadful. Just three shots from the forwards. And, you know, that clear, that clear tackling early on in the game, a couple of the turnovers they got. I remember Rory Hayes did a brilliant uh, sort of block. He, he had... He was claustrophobic all over uh, Shane Bennett, like an anaconda, and eventually uh, Bennett dropped it at his feet and tried to pull it, but he was kind of turned over. A few a minute later, Dermot Ryan did a brilliant job of turning over Dar lines, and, you know, Shane McNulty, he was, you know, you could even see the mistakes Watford were making. First half, short puck out to the Shane McNulty. He tried to carry it up the sideline and needlessly carried it over the sideline. But this comes back to what Brian Lohan did so well on his side, um, that the way he allowed Watford to go short with the puck outs. He'd seen how they ran up through teams up the middle. It's fine if they run through you inside their own 45, but it's further up the field that he wasn't going to allow that to happen. But Watford were allowed to carry the ball out. You know, Shane Fives came out with it, Conor Gleeson, Shane McNulty, these sort of players were carrying it out. And when you looked up the field, the middle of the field was absolutely choked up because Clare dropped their forwards back out to midfield. When you look further up the field, John Conlon and the likes of Paddy Fitzpatrick or Dermot Ryan, they were sitting in front of maybe a two-man inside Watford uh, full forward line. So there was no ball on to go along. And in the middle of the field, it was just completely choked up. So Watford then, what was their plan B? They didn't really seem to have one. And when you're missing players, the quality of, you know, if we just go back to their, their strongest team, assuming everyone was fit and there were no long-term injuries, you know, you know Stephen O'Keefe and goals, not that Billy Nolan did poorly, but you've no, you've no number one. You don't have your number three in Conor Prunty and your captain. You don't have your number six in Ty de Borca. You don't have your number eight in Jamie Barron. 
potentially even Parag Mahoney, your number 11. So they really, really struggle in, in that respect. And Austin Gleeson did most of their scoring from play uh, in terms of the starters. He got four, possibly, you know, could have got a second yellow card at some stage. But substitutes came in and did well. And that's something that Liam Cahill might be able to shake his team up and say Patrick Hearn, Neil Montgomery, Kieran Bennett, Mikey Kearney, they all come in and got scores. But of the starting forwards, Stephen Bennett was the only one to score. And you know, Peter Hogan, Jack Fagan, Desi Hutchinson, Shane Bennett, Jack Prendergast, none of these lads got on the score sheet. So it was a pretty rotten day for them overall. And um, yeah, it's just an error strewn performance from Watford. Clare will probably be fairly frustrated with the amount of wides they got in this game. Aaron Shanahan won so many balls but he's shooting he'll be certainly frustrated he left a lot of scores behind him um other players did the same like a, a lot of shots from 100 yards if you look in the in the first half john conlon had one jamie ryan had one tony kelly a free in a sideline poorly hit tony missed another one from 20 25 yards out ian galvin the same so that's something that brian uh, lohan would be certainly trying to ram home to his team in the next uh, number of days that they need to get that right against Tipperary because Tipperary, it's it's highly unlikely that they'll be quite as poor as Watford today. Tipperary didn't finish the league too well, obviously enough, but perhaps they were going through a very, very tough sort of training regime. Um, Shane O'Donnell being out, Aaron uh, Fitzgerald, the cornerback being out, Patrick O'Connor, one of the main men for Clare over the last number of years. So it's not as if Clare weren't down a couple of men either. And to win like this, and yeah, they made a hard, hard work of it towards the end maybe could have coasted home a little bit easier but a, a great great win for them and uh, a tough day at the office for Watford who needs to turn it around quickly